So guys, what do you want to do today? Well, before we start, I just wanted to show everybody this comment from Lucas Coleman 5454. He says, "Upload Corella Deville's cigarette smoke problem, please." I like that he says "upload" as if we've already filmed it, but we're just keeping it to ourselves. And he says, "Please" with two question marks, like he's begging, like he really, really needs us to make this happen for him. Uh, listen, Lucas, buddy, we've never used Cruella Deville in any video before, so we would have to introduce Cruella Deville and introduce that she has a cigarette smoking problem and make a whole video about that. Which I guess we could do, but everybody would be pretty confused and they would probably be a little bit upset with us. So I don't really know how to tell you this, but I, I don't really think that's gonna happen. I mean, if you want to see Cruella Deville's cigarette smoke problem, I guess we could maybe upload that on a different channel because it'll probably be demonetized, but otherwise, sorry, Lucas, I, I don't think that's going to happen for you. So what do you guys want to do today that isn't Corella DeVille's cigarette smoking problem? Well, I think your phone's ringing, Cody. Oh, you're right. I'm going to go answer. Uh, uh, uh Junior, uh, Macy's is calling about Ken's Christmas present. That says Timmy. Uh, Timmy is my sales associate from Macy's, so could you please take Ken in the other room? Why can't Ken listen? Well, I don't want him to find out about his Christmas present. It's not like he can hear. His ears are plastic. No, he has real human ears, Joseph. Uh, Junior, please. Okay. <sighs> What's up, babe? Hey, Cody. How's it hanging? Oh, you know, shriveled up and to the left with dried saliva on it. Ooh, how about a little bit of fresh saliva? <laughs> Ooh, okay. I'll be over in a little while. Okay. Okay, Junior, you can go back in with Ken. I don't know why I had to take Ken out of the other room. Well, I don't want him to know about his Christmas present. So Ken does not know about Timmy. What? Well, who's Timmy? Oh, oh, you mean Timmy from Macy's? Oh, I already told Ken about Timmy. Yeah, remember? Remember Timmy? He's the one who gives me a huge discount. Like a really big discount. So you don't want him to know about it? What, no, because I don't want him to find out about his Christmas present. Look, if we're going to keep talking about this, you have to take him out of the room again. <sighs> what? Junior, don't throw him. He has a herniated disc in his back. How does he have a herniated disc? From playing football? He doesn't play football, dude. He's a doll. He's not a doll, Joseph. He's all American. No, he's all plastic, dude. He's made in China. Wait, Cody, so you're cheating on Ken with Timmy? Well, I'm not cheating on him. I just like to spend time with Timmy. Why? Because he's an actual human being that breathes? Well, they're both human beings, Joseph. It's just that Timmy and I have a spiritual connection. I think we're the same sign. What, gay? Well, yes, Joseph. And I think our moons are in the same phase or some shit. So if you like Timmy so much, why don't you just break up with Ken? Well, I can't break up with Ken. We're soulmates. Okay, then stop talking to Timmy. Well, I... Look, I'll just figure it out, okay? Can you just go get Ken off the floor? Okay. I'm so sorry, Ken. I don't know why Junior threw you like that. I'll give you a back massage later. Hey, Cody! What the fuck? Hey, Timmy, what, what are you doing here just walking in like that? What about Ken turning to disc? Shut up. So what's up, Timmy? What the hell? Well, you were taking so long, plus my parents are home, so I figured I'll just come over. Oh, okay, great. That's fine. Is... Everything okay, Cody? No, I'm good. I am just peachy. Hey, Timmy, you know Cody loves a doll? He loves a doll? Uh, no, no, no. He, he's saying Adele wrong. I love Adele. Oh, my God. Like, rolling in the deep? Yeah, yeah. No, he has a doll that he kisses. He kisses Adele? But no, uh, Timmy, can you go wait in the other room? I have to call Macy's about your Christmas present. Oh, my God. Macy's? Okay. Joseph, what the fuck? Dude, you're making it mad weird. Just tell him about your stupid doll. Yeah, tell, tell me about Ken. I'm not going to tell him about... Ken. Well, he needs to know about your stupid G.I. Joe. G.I. <laughs> Joe, he wishes. If you tell Timmy about Ken, he's not gonna care, I promise. Really? You think so? Yeah, he's not gonna care about your stupid doll. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I'll tell him. Hold on, Junior. Before I go talk to Timmy, I gotta check on the eggs in my hatchery. Eggs in your hatchery? What are you talking about? I'm playing Dragon City, Junior. What's Dragon City? <laughs> you don't know what Dragon City is? <laughs> you lump. You fucking mook. What is Dragon City? <sighs> You're really gonna make me go over to the green screen, aren't you? Okay. Hey, guys. I want to tell you about this awesome game I've been into called Dragon City. It's a world filled with dragons where you get to be the boss. With over 1,000 unique dragons, you can collect, hatch, and evolve your own dragon empire. It's like having your own dragon zoo full of your little dragon minions. Also, you're not just raising dragons, you're building their home, creating a city with magical habitats, cool buildings, and you can even customize the decorations. It's like being an architect and a dragon trainer all in one. For those who love a challenge, you can jump into PvP battles, test your dragon's strength against other dragon masters, and climb the leaderboard to try to be number two, since I'll be number one. <laughs> 
Also, each of your dragons have special skills and abilities. Unleash them in quests and events like Wizards Hollow, where you have to use your big brain to win. And they have multiplayer. You can jump into a community of players where you can trade dragons and even join alliances for exclusive rewards. You can also check out what other people have built. You should check this game out too. Download Dragon City now by clicking the link in the description or scanning this QR code. And hey, you'll get a special bundle to kickstart your journey. 15,000 food and 30,000 gold and a super rare spaceship dragon. Don't miss out! Here you go, Junior. Play you some Dragon City. I'll go talk to Timmy. Okay! <laughs> uh, hey, Timmy. Oh, hey, Cody! Look what I wrote! Oh, wow, that, that, that is something. So you think we're dating, right? About that. So I was thinking that maybe today we could officially become boyfriend and boyfriend. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Yeah, well, can we add another boyfriend to that? What, what, what do you mean? Uh, well, Timmy, I'd like to introduce you to someone. This is Ken. Cody, who the hell is that? Well, we've been dating since about 2014. Are you freaking serious right now? You've been dating for nine years and you were just gonna leave me in the dark about it? Well, that's why I'm telling you now before things get too serious. So you were just keeping it a secret that you were dating this Beautiful, chiseled up human being! But but I still care about you too though, Timmy! If you care about me, then prove it! Choose right now! Me or him! Uh, uh, Choose! I don't know. Make your choice! Uh, I've just been with Ken for so long! Okay. I understand. You know what, Cody Philip Nutkiss? You broke my heart! <laughs> My, my middle name's not Philip. I don't know where you got that from. Philip on these nuts! <laughs> oh, damn! Boo hoo! Boo hoo hoo! Well, I told Timmy. I guess it didn't go well because I heard Timmy yelling at you. Yeah, he was pretty upset. Wait, he's mad at a doll, dude? Well, he knows Ken's not a doll. Oh, so he's delusional too. You guys are perfect for each other. Well, I knew we were perfect for each other, but Ken and I are perfect for each other too. So how did Ken react when he saw your side piece? Oh, he won't stop yapping. I keep telling him I chose you over Timmy. You won. You get the Cody peen. God, but he just won't shut up. No, he doesn't really work at Macy's. Yes, that was a lie. God. Yes, you are still getting a Christmas present. Jesus, do you hear this guy He's speaking Japanese? Oh, well, I mean, are you happy with your decision? Are you happy you chose Ken? Well, yeah, of course. I mean, it's Ken. I mean, just, just look at those abs. You know, just, just eat them up. Yeah, 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 I'm happy. Just, just distract me with something, okay? I don't want to talk about this. Okay, well, Chef Pee needs me to do my chores, so you guys can help me vacuum and suck up all suck! the... Suck! Talk about something else. Okay, well, um, there's a documentary on black holes they suck up- SUCK! Stop, stop saying suck so much. Okay, well, there's this video on Joey Chestnut, how he eats a lot of hot dogs. No hot dogs! No, no, everything just reminds me of Timmy. Boo-hoo-hoo! Why are you crying like that? Boo-hoo! It's sad. Boo-hoo! <laughs> I really love Cody! I- really do. He just doesn't feel the same. I'm such a fool. I just wish he knew everything I do to show him that I really love Cody. He doesn't feel the same about me. I wish I could make him choose me I am heartbroken I'm feeling so lonely I just wish that Cody would actually love me Shut the fuck up! Sorry, father!
Oh, I love sniffing Sharpies, dude. Me too, it's the best smell ever. Guys, I'm getting really tired of sniffing Sharpies. What? Cody, you love sniffing Sharpies! I know, but I'm starting to get a headache. Well, smell the orange one. It smells like a Sharpie. No, it smells like oranges. No, it smells like a Sharpie. This one smells like green apple. No, they all smell the same. Cody, what's wrong? I don't know. I'm just thinking a lot about Timmy. Well, you wanted Ken, right? Well, yeah, but I also want Timmy. I want his cake, and I want to eat it, too. Well, what is... Timmy offer that Ken can't do. Well, Ken's just not a throat goat. A what? You know, a throat goat, a glizzy goblin, a sword swallower. Well, can Ken ever become one of those? No, look at that mouth. It's too small. It'll never work. Well, why don't you ask Timmy if you, Ken, and him can be in a throuple? A what? A throuple, like, you know, where all three people date. What, that can happen? Yeah, it's called being in a poly... A poly... -la poly a, a parallelogram relationship. Y you mean a polyamorous relationship? That! Oh, that would be really cool. Okay, I'm gonna go ask Timmy if he'd be okay with that. <laughs> Sob! 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 Hey, Timmy. Cody! What are you doing here? You can't just walk into someone's house! Well, you just walked into Junior's house earlier. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, what do you want, you slut? <laughs> Well, are, are you trying to make me mad, or are you trying to get me back in the closet? It depends on what you say next. So, what is it you wanted to tell me? Well, uh, hold on. Damn, you gotta give me a minute. Oh, okay, so I have a proposal. Oh my god, you're proposing? No, 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 not like that, but I do have an idea. Okay, so take a good look at Ken here. What would you rate him on a scale of 1 to 10? Oh, that's easy, a 10. Right, he's a total 10. So, what if you and me both dated Ken together? Is, is that allowed? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. But... The father says that a relationship should only be between a man and a woman. Well, look, we already broke that rule, so why not break one more? Okay! So we're cool now? It depends. Is the closet door open? Hell yeah, it is. I am sore. Hey, Cody, are you and Timmy friends again? Oh, I'd say we're more than friends. What would you say you are? Well, I would say I'd like to thank Dragon City for sponsoring this video. Click the link below to check him out now so are you like more than friends or friends um we're, we're um